It's time now to go into the CBC vault, and you're going to like this. This week's story comes from our very own CBC reporter, Corey O'Kelly. Now, a 12-year-old boy from Cornwall, Ontario, was chosen as the very first Canadian Mouseketeer. So let's dip into our CBC archives and rewind back to March 23rd, 1993, and see if you can recognize this young actor. <laughs> My, oh, my, what a wonderful day. Hey. Ryan Gosling is on top of the world. Well, at least the entertainment world. He's a Mouseketeer. Yeah, it's really neat because he kind of lay low and he did, um, you know, think, just, he said, you know, we picked out of a lot of talented kids and everything, Ryan, and, you know, I wanted you to know that uh, you're a Mouseketeer. And I went, no way. And my mom just, she hit the roof. My biggest feeling was just that I was so happy for Ryan. I was happy that he was... Uh, that he got a yes answer. Ryan had already caught a lot of eyes with his feet. He'd won an Ottawa talent show, Homegrown Cafe, and several dance competitions in the United States as well. But it was his clean-cut looks and his singing which won him an audition with Disney officials last month in Florida. She let Throughout the course of the three days, um, they just worked with them in different groups on acting, singing, and dancing. And uh, they um, worked with an acting coach and a vocal coach. And they were really preparing them for their final audition, which was on Sunday. Well, it paid off. Now, after signing a one-year contract, he'll do singing and dancing on the Mickey Mouse Club. To me, it's luck because there was kids there that were just phenomenal. So, luck. <laughs> Well, I got a T-shirt of the Mickey Mouse Club. Ryan, who already has a mitt full of Disney artifacts, will pick up some nice cash from the same source as well. He returns to Florida in May to begin shooting on his new show. In Cornwall, I'm Corey O'Kelly. And as you all know, today Ryan Gosling is one of Hollywood's most sought-after actors. <laughs>